Oh. Don't look at them. Nope, nope, nope. Just gonna keep moving. Shit. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Sir Riot, and this is the door. You play as Dean Holt, a popular vlogger who sets off on another exploration of an abandoned home, but this time, things aren't going as planned. Something dark is lurking inside, and Dean quickly finds himself in over his head. So without further ado, let's get into it. October 20th, 2010. Five goddamn months. Finally back. Jeez, where did I keep those things? Take your equipment. A little stutter in the beginning there. This game actually looks pretty good. I didn't think it would with that opening uh, menu. Alright, what am I looking for? Take your equipment. Use what? I'll go into the drawer. Okay. Annie, seriously, get yourself a new phone. I'm fed up with writing these stupid notes. Besides, we live 50 meters from each other. We could use the cup and string phones. I've tried that. Sure, I'll take your... What is that? Urbixing? But I'm not sure about the timing. School's been really stressing me out lately. Can we talk about it tomorrow? I can't... Oh, that's rotating. Right, nothing on the back. Got a flashlight? No, not yet. another note here let's take a look hey Dean I was thinking maybe you could take me on the next urbex I guess that's what they call it urban exploring I've read a bit about this mansion in Clover Springs maybe I could be of help but seriously I have absolutely nothing to do for the next month and remember you promised over now you always gotta check the back what else can we interact with here let's see We picked up something. I can't shut those. I don't like the drawers being open. <laughs> the Raven. How do I get to the back? Alright, nothing. Can't open it. Now we got our backpack. I guess we got some batteries. Nothing in those. Nothing in those. Man, I really hate that we can't close these. Always close the drawers, guys. Come on. What do we got on the wall here? Oh, that's disturbing. It's pretty. Can I read? These are just blanks? Yeah. Okay. Let's go... I'm not looking forward to this at all. Do you got a sprint? Sprint's never an actual sprint. We got a walk slower button. Yeah. Ooh, do we have a flashlight? That just. I don't know what that is. Let's get in our truck and get going. There in a blink of an eye. Oh shit. Four hours later. That's a long drive. Okay. Let's start it here. We are saddened to report the death of Diane Reed, the only daughter of the Reed family. Her body was found in the bathroom of their mansion at 8 o'clock this morning. The rest of the family was getting ready for breakfast at the time. Her body was found by her father, after which he immediately notified emergency services. An autopsy later showed that Diane had been dead for at least a few hours. It was ruled a suicide. It is believed she used an old towel the family kept in the kitchen to suffocate herself. The reasoning behind her suicide is, as of yet, unclear. She was so young and innocent, always happy, always smiling. I can't believe this. Life seems to hurt the most innocent souls, said one neighbor of the family after the tragedy. 
Our hearts go out to the Reed family during these difficult times. Robert Wright of Clover Springs was reported missing last night. He left his high school friend's house three days ago when he was alleged to have crossed the plant field near Route 96. Since then, all trace of him was lost, making him the third high schooler missing in two weeks in Clover Springs. Clover High School has temporarily closed its doors. The police advise citizens not to leave their houses after dark and to be careful. Yo guys, it's Dean, back again with another video. Sorry for the long break. Uh, I didn't like have time that. to record anything. Uh, you know, family problems, school, you know. But we are back with a big one. I really had to dig to get these recordings. But let's quit the chit chat and get down to business. Clover Springs, quiet town in Washington, green grass, fresh air, black coffee. In there, Reed's perfect family, respected, wealthy. Yet the daughter offs herself out of nowhere. And after that, things get really weird in that small town. Few people disappear, including the rest of the Reed's family. Father, mother, and son simply vanished. No trace. After a year, the town is basically abandoned. All moved out. I went online and stumbled upon this interesting theory in which Diane's father was responsible for those missing teenagers. Some sources state that Diane was heavily bullied in school, and that would be the reason why she... So the father, seeking revenge, chose those teens, buried them somewhere, and then flies to Cuba. I don't know. Damn. It's just a theory. There isn't much information about the Reeds anyways. Especially about the girl. She must have never left the house or something. Well, now their house is a dope urbex attraction. And probably some satanic bullshit place. But that's every abandoned building. And also every forest. I do like that the character is reading. Kind of makes it more immersive. Once upon a midnight dreary. We are here. The main road has been closed Zoom many years, at... so I had to park the car a little further away. Ugh. And let me tell you, those trees are creepy. It feels like they're looking at me. I just got goosebumps. Tuck left for flashlight. Oh shit, it is unforgivingly dark. What's this? Oh, it's the, uh, I think that says missing. Or it's supposed to be. God, could you imagine doing this? People that do, I give you, I give you props. You got balls of steel. Especially if you do it at night. No way. Okay, let's take a look inside. Can I adjust the... Brightness? Complaining about the brightness, but I'm always complaining about the dark. <laughs> Alright, and we're in. Here we are. <sighs> this place almost didn't age at all. The furniture's all messed up and the windows are nailed, but other than that, pretty good. This looks the like Grandpa's house. And it, and it seems that three different families live here. Reeds were the last. Ooh, he bought this house? Because there was a kitchen in Grandpa's house. Did a little remodeling. Remember, you always gotta watch out for homeless people in these places. I once heard about a guy jump by a hobo with a crowbar in some abandoned railway station. That's what I would be concerned I about. What I don't want to experience while urbexing, hobos with crowbars are a close second. First, they're probably collapsing floors or hobos with knives. I would definitely carry if I were to do this. Not that you can shoot ghosts or anything, but the hobos. Just whatever drug addicts are hiding out here. Okay. Anything on the back? No. Dear Todd, it's been long it's been so long since we last saw you. We're thrilled to visit you for the holidays. Lori is already planning what to bake. She loves to bake. I hope it won't be a problem if we're bringing something from our end. We need to somehow repay you for such hospitality. 
on a slightly less cheerful note, Diane won't be able to join us. She's going to a school camp. Warm regards, Clint. It gets dark. It's kind of cool you can go in the drawers. We're going to find something in one of these, right? This is like a side entrance, maybe? Oh no, it's the office. This must be the dad's office. The guy's name was Clint Reed. Couldn't really find much information about him, only that he was apparently a lawyer. I tried to interview oh, some of their the neighbors, door. but they weren't really helpful, most of them, at least. They didn't remember any details, as if they have some kind of collective amnesia. Weird. I don't want to wake you up, so I'm leaving this note. Please feed Remy. Unfortunately, I couldn't manage it because my transportation arrived earlier than expected. I'll be back from the business trip a week. I couldn't even see that. In a week, so hang tight. P.S. If Diane's condition worsens, please inform the doctor immediately. Can't reach those, right? Kind of. Dear Mr. Evans, I trust this letter finds you well. I am writing to express my serious concerns about the well-being and safety of my child, Diane Reed, an 11th grade student at Clover Springs High School. Regrettably, Diane has been experiencing persistent bullying from classmates, impacting her emotional and psychological well-being. This, this situation is unacceptable, and I believe it is crucial to promptly address it to ensure a safe and supportive learning environment for all students. I kindly request that the school administration conducts a thorough investigation into these allegations and takes appropriate measures to address and rectify the situation. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Sincerely, Clint Reed. Bumbling my words a little bit here. That's because I'm just kind of... Waiting for something to happen. Mess with these photos? No. Light switch? Damn. Now we're definitely not gonna have a light switch. Or, uh, <laughs> lights. In heartwarming turn of events, three missing teenagers. In heartwarming? In a heartwarming event, or in a heartwarming turn of events, these missing teenagers have been found safe and sound. Oh, okay, I should have just kept reading. In the quaint town of Clover Springs, the disappearance had gripped the community in fear and uncertainty, but the recent discovery has brought immense relief to both families and residents. Emily Jason, Robert Wright, and Lucy Smith have been missing for nearly a month before authorities located them in a small cabin inside the Clover Springs forest. Authorities are now working to reunite the teenagers with their families, facilitating a safe return home. While the reasons behind their disappearance remain private, the emphasis now is on supporting the teenagers as they navigate the aftermath of their ordeal. Okay, so the dad didn't bury them. So that's good news. Maybe he wasn't as crazy. And I don't like that we have to turn the flashlight off. And that I can't close doors. And I really don't want to go up there. Need crowbar. The little thump right there scared me a bit. May she rest in peace. What? Did he say that? Did I say that? Nothing in here. Check this corner before you sweep around. Creaking. Uh. Let me check this one first. I really don't like that I can't shut this.
And I'll always say it. I love these couches. That one's broke, but these are nice. Uh, I don't like that. I can't shut that. I am writing regarding my daughter, Diane. Her health has disoriented, has deteriorated significantly, and at times I can barely recognize her. I also get the impression that she does not recognize me either. She looks at me with empty, indifferent, almost animalistic eyes. Last night I was jolted from my bed by terrible screams coming from her room. She's in great pain, and the medication is not working. Please come as soon as possible. Could you imagine going through some sort of like medical trauma event and not having a phone? Doing things by letters. The doctor was here and examined her, and he said, he said that the illness is not spreading at all, quite the opposite, it's starting to recede. I don't know what to believe anymore. I could swear that while the doctor was writing the prescription, Diane smiled at me, but it wasn't an ordinary smile. It didn't, I didn't see my daughter's usual warmth in that smile. It was full of satisfaction and anger, as if she had outsmarted me. I need to lie down. No, you, you need to leave. You need to have an exorcism. Shit's about to get real. That's a weird... It doesn't look like that would work from the outside. Alright, so that painting fell. Oh, uh, what are you? Why is there a doll here? Oh, come on. Or a dummy? I don't want to call it a dummy. The fickle to anger him. And that is where the parents slept. I, I think. I think the girl was left behind. Wow. The creaking. Oh, God. Today, late at night, as I was going downstairs to the bathroom, I saw Diane. She was standing in the corner of the dining room, right next to the fireplace, staring blankly into space. Her eyes were completely different, wide open, focused on something. I'm not sure, but I felt like I saw her twitching. I'm like expecting something to be behind me. Oh. You're not all the drawers open, which is kind of weird. I'm not really finding anything either. Just terrifying notes. Need a key. I've been looking. Oh, okay. So the brother was a ventriloquist. And that's probably his doll. Good, he said doll. Yeah, because it's a demon. God, the thing is terrifying. Alright, those don't open. Let's check down the hallway here. This has a padlock on it. Oh, you know me. I don't give up this easily. How to find the code. I'm gonna try one real quick. Alright, you never know. <laughs> Keys anywhere. Dear diary, today the doctor told me that I'll be taking a break from school. Supposedly nothing too serious, but with my tendency to faint, it would be dangerous to stay in school. I'm not sad about it at all. I never liked school. I've noticed that I've I noticed that I have huge difficulties in making connections. My classmates don't like me, and I can't seem to make them like me. Maybe during this weekend, or maybe during this extended break, they'll find themselves missing my presence, and when I return, Maybe I'll find some friends waiting. Aw. It's kind of sad. Oops. I haven't been turning all these over. Is that where the code's gonna be? Okay. 
Every time I turn around, I'm just waiting. Alright, let's stay. Diane, the daughter, she got very sick at one point. Something with her spine. She got really deformed. The pain was so intense, her parents were locking her up in a room just to muffle her screams. Can't go in that room yet. Let's check this door here. What's this room? Random? God, I wish we could shut the door behind us. I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> Man, all the drawers open. Let's keep moving down here. It's not a good sign. Now let's work our way back down this hallway. Maybe we missed something. I know that there's a basement. Maybe we can go down in the basement? Ending one. He couldn't handle the pressure of returning to B logging. Here, his story comes to an end. Alright, so we found a, a number one ending. Well, you know me. I don't give up this easily. Code. How to find the code. Started ticking downstairs. Go check it. That happened last time. I don't think that happened last time. Oh, what was that? That downstairs. What? Which clock? Gotta be in his office, right? Oh, that chair moved. That's what that noise was. Hmm. Oh god, that scared me. I checked the clock. Nothing going on with that. What is it? Three, two. Thirty-two, blank, blank. Wait, is this new? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, shut the door. Come on. I locked her. I locked Diane in her room. I'm afraid to let her out. She started to become aggressive. Her strange behavior surfaced again last night. She began to demolish the house, throwing dishes and chairs, and then she pushed me away, and I lost consciousness. When I regained consciousness, I saw her standing over our son's bed, making a sound as if she were choking. At night, she makes the most terrifying sounds I've ever heard. The first time I heard that sound, shivers ran down my spine. It was so unnatural. I couldn't match that sound to anything I had heard before. I'm still not entirely sure if it was our daughter. I'm afraid of her. I'm afraid that she will harm Cody. Should I go back upstairs? Either the doctor made a mistake or he lied. Lied right to my face. I'll stop heeding his advice. Dan has never been so deformed. Her bones protrude from beneath her night skirt and contort into unnatural shapes she doesn't move it she doesn't move all day 
Her face has undergone a complete transformation, twisted in grimace, in a grimace of pain, appearing as if horribly aged. In her eyes, black, raven-like eyes, empty yet very present, they stare into the corner of her room for hours on end. Alright, so she's definitely possessed. Uh, I feel so uncomfortable. Where do I go? Fuck! Pick up the phone. Jeez, you scared me. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm fine. What's up? Doll's gone. I, I understand. Just, uh, I'll do it as soon as I get back to the car. I understand. I... Do what? Who's that? No explanation? You're not gonna mention anything about him? He ain't gone? Come on. Be shitting bricks. We're at half the code so far. I'm gonna check that room, right? <gasps> What's that? Yeah, I saw that, right? All oh, demonic eyes. Waiting for something with this door. I'm not going in there yet. Not yet. Okay, we have to. Hello? Mr. Demon Puppet. Hey, let's read this note first. They hide her from the world, lock her in a room with a key, ashamed of her. They pretend as if nothing is happening, as if there aren't those dreadful screams, as if she isn't my sister, struggling to stay conscious in a small, claustrophobic space, only some dying rat on the floor. When a neighbor asks about Diane, they respond that she's doing great, that she'll soon be going on a school camp. If Diane were to stand in front of those neighbors now, they wouldn't even recognize her. She has become our dirty little secret. Oh, that scared me. Dirty little secret, huh? Sounds sexy. 3225. Hello? Who's there? Anybody? Guess it must be the draft. Yeah? Son of a bitch. That was the draft. You can clearly hear it. It's just the wind. Just that little demon doll in the wind. Ah, I had to do it backwards. No, uh, why is that there? Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Who's it? Who are you? Oh. Okay. What's in this? There's nothing in here, right? Can I leave? Oh, a crowbar. Swing it. Anything. Oh, I hear the door. Oh. <laughs> the electricity old... tends to act strangely in these houses. Yeah. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, bud. Can we swing this thing? There's a new note. So many like corners. Uh, so it's downstairs. I can't bear to listen to her screams, those bloody curly screams. I haven't seen my sister for a week. They haven't let her out of that room since then. 
She can't be treated like that. Tonight, I'll sneak in and let her out. <laughs> well, you're dead. You know, it's funny, that used to be just like people's everyday normal music, and now it's haunting. Ugh. Well, we get his past since we buried Diane. Cody has hardly said anything since our daughter passed away. Lynn has gone on another business trip. The house is quiet that sometimes it feels like I can still hear the echoes of her screams. No, oh, man. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Sorry. Hope that wasn't valuable. The hell is this room? Where's that music coming from? Finding the right words for a message like this is never easy. Sadly, our beloved daughter, Diane, recently passed away unexpectedly. Due to this heartbreaking situation, we regret to inform you that we won't be able to make it to our, for our planned Christmas event. P.S. Todd, you've always been a good friend to me. I probably shouldn't be sharing this, just like I never shared it with my wife. That little thing floating scared me. <laughs> uh, there aren't good words to dress it up, but I hope you understand. Part of me finds solace in the fact that my daughter has passed away. She truly didn't have an easy childhood. I'm not even sure if she ever experienced a single happy day. And I was sorry inviting anyone home, nor did I see her talking to any friends. Painfully, I admit that even Lori, her own mother, didn't hold much love for her. Damn, even I sometimes involuntarily showed the strange coldness towards Diane. The music stopped. It seemed like the only person who loved her normally was Cody. I knew she was bullied in school for a long time, but I ignored it. Some sick part of me found satisfaction in it. Then that horrible disease, a dreadful of affliction, completely destroyed, distorted my daughter. I loved her then, but I couldn't love her. I looked at her then, but I couldn't love her. I was somewhat disappointed. When I saw her on the floor of our bathroom, completely pale, I felt relief as if I dropped a baggage I've been carrying for years. Your friend, Clint. Key to locked room upstairs. Is that all? I hear breathing. Something's breathing. I swear. Is this a new note? Clint, please, please come back as soon as possible. Something strange is happening with our son. Lately, he keeps talking about some tall figure that follows him. He experiences episodes of complete disorientation in which he doesn't respond to what I say, doesn't move as if he's not even there. When I tried to interrupt such an episode, he became, he became aggressive, yelling at me. Sometimes he also talks to himself, mentioning something about Diane. I'm worried about him. Something was breathing, and I don't know where. Which room is locked? Was it down here? Let's check down here. I don't like that room. Nope. It's this way. Let's go back. Oh yeah, it's in here. Where'd that goddamn doll go? Ugh. Jesus. What a smell. That means there's a demon around. Or still some rotting flesh somewhere. Doors are always closed. My mother locks them. And there's only one key in this house. I gotta keep it on. Nothing can get out and nothing can get in. I used to think I could hide from him. He calls out to me every night. And I hear the creaking of the floors as he moves through the house. I hear skin shifting with each step. 
and that melody he sometimes plays. I cover my mouth. Thought I heard a step to my left. Oh god, I covered my mouth then, so no sound escapes, but even that doesn't work anymore. He appeared at midnight. I couldn't fall asleep, so I sat at my desk. When I turned around, there he stood by the door of my room, staring at me. The doors were still locked. Is he gonna be behind me? Mm. Space to study the map. What map? At least I'm looking at the door. I keep hearing things. Looks like there's a secret passage downstairs. Oh, great. Wonderful. Main entrance, kitchen, stairs, bathroom, dad's office, storage, basement. Uh, no. Ooh, turn it on. Didn't like that. <laughs> I'm waiting for that fucking dial to reappear. <sighs> oh no, turn the light on. Turn the light on for the love of oh, God, turn the light on. Who is that? Get out of the house. Okay. Okay. Don't tell me twice. We're making it to the door, no problem. Okay, we're locked in. Oh. Check the kitchen. Why? Why is the light on? Ooh. Believe nothing you hear, and only half of what you see. Okay. Can I leave yet? Oh my god, you fuckers. Oh, there's so many of you. No. Are you supposed to be blocking me, right? Alright, whatever. We'll go, okay. Why are you here? Oh no. Okay, door shut behind me. No turning back. need a key. Man, just kick these doors open. Oh, the door is gone. Oh boy. Where do I find a key in this little room? Locked. I was gonna say we're locked in. Bathroom? What the hell is going on? Where's the key? Ew. Is that blood? Hey. I was this kid not freaking out. Thank you. I appreciate it. happening what stop throwing stuff <laughs> yeah kids real quiet now
Oh, so we're just like there. Nope. Not going that way yet. Holy shit! Yeah, now you say something. Anything on you guys? No? I don't need you? Okay. Oh shit. Let's listen to this. The girl fell to her death from a six I am so sorry. For what? First responders declared her dead at the scene. The tragedy is being investigated as a possible suicide. He is in the hallway. She has been battling depression for a long time. Who's in the hallway? The thing you were writing about? Why is this kid not gone? This hallway? I'm not gonna go that way then. Okay. It's just a sheet. Where does this go? No. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Hide. Get in. Get in, for the love of God. Breathing. Nothing in these drawers. This house is like a terrifying maze. You do anything with those drawers? I'm gonna stop messing with the drawers. Where did our flashlight go? I thought you were a mannequin in hand. What the fuck? Newt, 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 newt. Oh, oh, what are you doing down here? You're actually not scaring me, you're kind of bringing me comfort. I have a spine, but no bones. I have no heartbeat. I had a hold life's hook. Ha, <laughs> I'm a genius. Look higher. On the shelf? Bucket? Ooh, I was hanged by a rope at the center of town. Wouldn't it be hung? Either throw. Where am I throwing it? Okay, okay. Uh, here we go. Throw like a sissy. Nope. Now, this might take me a minute. Well, that's just unfair. D to throw. Break the window. There wasn't a window a second ago. Ah, uh, maybe I just didn't throw good enough. What are we grabbing the glass for? Oh, we're out. Ten minutes later. Thank God. Oh man, are we going into a maze? So the house was a maze, I can only assume. 
that the woods is going to be. Our character breathing. What the f What the hell was that? Are we going in a loop? Am I missing like different turns or something? No, this is different. Wait. Always go left, right? Is that not the right way? I feel like I'm just like going into another endless loop. Something's about to happen. There he is. There he is. There he was. You guys saw that. Creepy little thing. Another gate. How many gates are there? My god. Uh, they're all different too. Each path. Not looping or anything. Going, just keep going. Just keep moving. So every time I talk, <laughs> threw a rock at my face and you're laughing. You psychopath. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep going. Come on, come on, come on. It's weird how many gates there are, like inside of this already. Hello. Sounds terrified. Find you. Don't what? look at them. Do like a who? What? Which? Oh. Shit! I'm terrified. Which way do I go? Oh, I picked the wrong way. Should have went left. It's always left. No, it's not. Oh, Jesus. Third time is the charm. Oh, is that a deer? Or an elk? Hello, Tent 10. Here from Tent 9. Couldn't help but notice that Green Day shirt. I'm not sure what your name is. Maybe Anna? I'm gonna practically head over heels for you, but seriously, my teammate keeps playing some disco and I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I want to walk over and out. You don't say over and out on a note, do you? It's odd. I'm, I want to look behind me, but I can't. Right? That's back way I came. And those are like... Terrifying looking. Like the little doll put those there. Ah, shit. Alright, let's go right. Alright, got another fork in the road. Hello? More? Hello? Oh, I've got chills. The lifeless body of Dean Holt was found in Clover Springs. The cause of death, with death has not been disclosed. It's from a demon. A little demon doll. Notice that uh, he was very talkative in the beginning. He ain't talking too much now. Forgot about that. Just throws a rock at your face and laughs. Uh. Hello? 
Oh. Don't look at them. Nope, nope, nope. Just gonna keep moving. Shit. <sighs> what the hell? This Hello? One? Let's try this way. Just keep running. Just keep running, kid. We did it! Oh god, yes. I basically held my breath that whole time. Where's my truck? Get in! Oh. The doll. This fucking twitchy head. Oh my god, get in, dude. Oh. I'm glad I got that on the second try. Ending five. So we got three endings. It's not bad. I'll take it. Let's see what this says, though. Ooh, nothing. Ugh, he was speechless. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.